Let's be real for a second. Have you ever stared at your screen absolutely positive you have a meeting, but it's only showing up in Teams and not Outlook? Or the other way around? If you're nodding your head right now, you are definitely not alone. Today, we're going to tackle one of the most maddening tech headaches out there, calendar sync failures. So does this question hit a little too close to home? One minute, you think you've got your whole week perfectly planned out, and the next, you're scrambling because a huge client meeting just completely vanished from one of your calendars. It's a total mess, and honestly, it happens to the best of us. And the fallout from all this digital confusion? It's not small stuff. We're talking about missed meetings that can seriously damage client trust or getting double booked for appointments, which just makes you look disorganized. These little scheduling hiccups create these gripple effects, messing up not just your day, but your entire team's workflow. Now here's the crazy part. In a perfect world, if you're using a Microsoft 365 account, your Teams and Outlook calendars should sync up automatically, right? But as the source material just perfectly puts it, the reality often falls short of expectations. If you've ever felt that frustration, trust me, you are in very good company. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's pull back the curtain and find these hidden culprits. Why on earth do our calendars stop talking to each other? Well, the reasons are usually way more complicated than you'd think, kind of lurking right under the surface. Yeah, the problem is almost never just one simple thing. It's usually this messy combination of issues that fall into three main buckets. You've got your account and authorization problems, you've got simple but wrong sync settings, and then you've got the deeper, more technical software conflicts. Let's zero in on that first piece of the pie. Account issues are, hands down, one of the biggest reasons for sync failures. It can be something as simple as being logged into your personal Microsoft account in one app and your work account in the other. Or maybe you don't have the right editor permissions for a shared calendar. It's such an easy mistake to make, but it will absolutely break the sync every single time. So, you know there's a problem. The next step is to fix it, obviously. Well, this is where the real headache begins. Welcome to what I like to call the troubleshooting maze, a journey that is anything but a straight line. And this, this is a perfect example of how frustrating that maze can be. I mean, just look at the screen. This is just one potential fix, clearing the Outlook cache on a Mac. You have to quit the app, dig around in hidden system folders with a super specific file path. This isn't a simple button click. It's a technical six-step process most people would never figure out on their own. Now take that complexity and multiply it. When you factor in all the different steps you need for Windows, for Mac, for the web versions, for the mobile apps, you are looking at over 20 unique ways to troubleshoot this. It's just exhausting. Checking permissions, reconnecting accounts, clearing caches, it's a mess. But after seeing all that, you just have to ask yourself, what if you didn't have to go through any of that? What if you could just bypass the chaos completely? That one question is what leads us from wrestling with the problem to finding a truly elegant solution. So let's talk about that simpler, better way. Instead of constantly trying to patch up a broken process, what if you could use a tool that was built from the ground up to solve this exact problem? Well, say hello to Virto Calendar for Microsoft Teams. So what exactly is it? Well, Virto Calendar isn't just another calendar app. Think of it more like a calendar command center. It works by overlaying all of your different calendars from Outlook, from SharePoint, even from external places like Google Calendar, and brings them all together into one beautiful color-coded view right inside of Teams. And the difference is just, it's night and day. On the left, you've got the old way, this long, annoying checklist of technical fixes. And on the right, the Virto way, one single unified calendar view. It stops trying to force a broken sync and just bypasses the problem entirely by creating one source of truth. So let's really dig into what this new calendar hub can do for you, because the benefits go way beyond just seeing your appointments in one spot. This thing can fundamentally change how you manage your entire schedule. The magic trick here is what they call true unification. Virto's overlay technology is the key. It pulls in data from Exchange, SharePoint, and those external calendar links, and it creates that single source of truth we've been talking about. Sync issues just become irrelevant. They're gone. Because there's nothing to sync. It's all pulled into one place by design. And I know what you're thinking, especially if you're in a big company. What about security? Well, Virto has you covered. It is a Microsoft vetted and approved app, which is a big deal. It means it meets their super strict security standards. Plus, it respects all of your existing permissions, so you're still in full control, and all your data stays safe and sound inside your company's own Microsoft 365 environment. So let's get back to how simple this is. 
Remember that ridiculous six-step cash clearing process from earlier? Now contrast that with this. Getting started with Verto takes three easy steps and you do it all right inside Teams. You add a tab, search for the app, and connect your calendars. That's it. No digging through hidden folders, no headaches, you're done. So at the end of the day, the choice is pretty clear. You can keep fighting with sync settings, getting lost in those troubleshooting mazes, or you could have a single, reliable, secure hub for all of your calendars. It's really a choice between ongoing frustration and streamlined efficiency. So the only real question left is, are you ready to end the calendar chaos for good?